I for sure woke up with some jitters a little bit. It took me a while to go to bed just because, you know, I feel like kind of a freshman again. It's obviously a little different, but I'm um, excited. Yeah, it's definitely like the first day of school, uh, just getting to know people and stuff, and then you just uh, find, in, uh, find your comfort zone. Uh, it's going to be a race to maturity, and I'm excited for it. I've been in contact with a few guys, Bud Dupree, you know, I, I knew him before I was drafted, so he hit me up and told me, let's go, you know, we're going to get to work when we get here. I told him I'm going to be on his hip, trying to soak everything in. And then with the drafted guys, you know, we have a group chat, we've chatted a little bit, talked about how excited we are to get here to work and um, how happy we are to be a part of uh, the Titans organization. Uh, walking in the locker room is going to be special because I've been wanting to play in the NFL since I was nine. So, you know, just now that I had an opportunity, it's crazy, you know. It's been a long time, that was what, 13 years ago? So, since I was this big, so, you know it's gonna be special though. How's it feel? Right. No. Feels good. Feels good? I'll know once uh, you know, get some contact for sure. Right. Well, you'll know once it sweats on, it just starts to come down some, then we'll, we'll try something different. Something that just really clears my mind and knows it's just football is, is the walk to the field, especially in practice. You know, you walk outside and the weather's nice. You see guys warming up for their position drills, coaches coaching little things or laughing, joking around, and just the walk to the field really lets you know that you're going to play a game you love and you're going to enjoy it for the rest of your life. There's been so much uncertainty in the last 10 to 12 weeks, and going in today and this weekend, I kind of know, like, we're just playing football again. That's the easy part. Uh, it's the part I know how to do. Coach Booker, I mean, he's a good dude. I mean, I know that, you know, he has the best interest uh, for me, but also for the team as well. So I know that, you know, he's going to teach me, but he's not going to give me any shortcuts. He's going to make me, you know, definitely earn it and stuff. So it's been good to just kind of break down the defense and just learn the difference, you know, of my defense at Oregon and the difference here. <laughs> Hey, attack this defender, right? Attack him and then make a move. Don't make, yeah, don't make your move when you come off the ladder. Go, go scare this guy with your speed, right? You no, know, everybody makes mistakes, but just not making the same mistake again. You know, learn from that mistake. Good, good. Hold oh, hand in there, Racy. That's a penalty, Racy. It's a jog through, Racy. Just know what to do. We got time. We'll have time to cut it loose soon. You know, just don't get too high on your successes. Keep a level head and stay humble. And just really looking forward to the next play and doing it again. There you go. More defending the stick. Uh, what I'm expecting out of camp is just to be a sponge, learn and grow as a football player, um, learn and grow as a person off the field. You know, just learn how to become a professional. Yeah, me and Elijah Molden, we've been um, good family friends since we were little kids, so it's pretty cool. Um, his dad, Alex Molden, and my uncle Chad Cota played together um, at the University of Oregon and then went on to play um, in the NFL together for the New Orleans Saints. So uh, We went to camps together and we went to a 7-on-7 tournament and he ended up like elbowing me in the face and fracturing my skull. So he broke my skull and he brought my mom flowers after, so yeah. Now we get to finally play, you know, with each other instead of against each other, like we played against each other in high school and then against each other in college. So now to finally be teammates is pretty cool. Definitely nice to know somebody. Definitely nice to know that, um, you know, we're ready to go through this whole thing together and we're ready to, you know, really start to make an impact in a positive way. So yeah, I definitely, definitely think that we're excited. With this mini camp, you know, I'm looking to prove just that uh, they made a great choice in me and um, that. I'm the best value pick they, they got, you know, still in the fourth round, and, and I'll do anything for the team to help us win. Again, whether that's special teams, whether that's on defense, whether that's passing out waters or whatever I'm asked to do, you know, I'll do it, and they know they, they made a great choice with me, and it'll pay off. Really, I mean, taking away from the mini camp, I just want to be dialed, you know what I mean? I, I understand that our rookies come in, and, and they got to learn the playbook and everything, and I don't, I don't feel like that's an excuse to uh, to not hit the ground running when, when we actually get into to camp, to training camp in the season. So I want to be 100% uh, comfortable. There you go. Nice job, Elijah. Nice job, Elijah. There's a lot of exciting things uh, about being a Titan, especially when your running back is basically as big as you. Um, so you get to block for a guy who's like that. Um, definitely helps a lot.
there's a lot of stars on this team. Uh, just being able to be a part of a successful program. Uh, I'm from uh, two winning cultures from high school and uh, college, so being part of another winning culture is huge to me. So uh, yeah, just super excited about that.